morning, Professor. Would you like some breakfast? No, no, no. I am not here to eat breakfast. I want all of you to know that the attache case is missing, and until it is recovered, you are all suspects. Does that mean none of us can leave the island? <laughs> now, I am going to put the same question to each one of you. Mr. Howell, did you sneak that case out of my hut? How dare you make such an accusation? Do you think I became the head of a dozen international corporations by stooping to thievery? Well, of course not. Shows how naive you are. How else to get the top of the financial jungle? Of course I took it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you for confessing, Mr. Hal. Now, where is it? In my wine cabinet, and I'll go get it. Don't bother, Mr. Hal. Marianne and I saw you hide it, and we sneaked it out. We haven't opened it yet. It's in the food locker. I'll go get it. Uh, never mind, Marianne. It's no longer in the food locker. You mean you saw us hide it? Exactly, and I put it in my sea bag, so I'll go get it right away. Don't bother, Skipper. Because here it is. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Gilligan. Now, do you know what I'm going to do with this case? It's OK if you want to hide it, Professor. It is your turn. Since you're all so curious, strong steps must be taken to protect it. It's far too important. <laughs> Good heavens. What's in there? What's what, in there? What was what that? In there? What, what is a top Professor? secret file in there entitled United States Defense Plans Against Secret Attack? Don't <gasps> <gasps> attack anyone. So let's look. But don't you see, this was probably taken from a United States secret agent. He probably gave his life defending it. And the enemy agents who killed him are undoubtedly still after it. You mean they may come to this island to look for the case? In their efforts to uncover United States defense plans, they will leave no stone unturned. What are we going to do? Don't hide under a stone. Gilligan. <laughs> okay, I'll hide under a stone, Skipper. I'll take it. Put that down now before you lose it. Well, Skipper, I won't lose it. See, it's got a handcuff. And I'll just put it on my wrist like this, see, and snap it. And then I can't lose it. I also can't get loose. Gilligan, now you've done it. Huh? When those spies come back here to find this briefcase, they're going to find you handcuffed to it, and they're going to kill you for knowing too much. He's right, Gilligan. They're going to kill me for knowing too much? That's the first time I've been accused of that. <laughs> hey, Skipper, look, there's the key in there. I wonder what that's for. I don't know, but I sure wish it was for the handcuff lock. Because then I could just put it in like that, yeah. see? Turn it, and then I could just open it, and I'd be free, see? You did it! Free. <laughs> Professor! I don't have to worry about enemy spies showing up here and, and killing me. No, I don't think we have to worry about enemy spies showing up at all. Huh? huh? Well, you, you mean that these aren't vital United States defense plans? No, they're vital defense plans, all right. From World War I. <laughs> yes, that case must have been floating around the Pacific for over 50 years. Gilligan, was I in your dream? Yeah. You were ahead of the good guys, and you sure were tough. I was? Yeah. When you sent me on a mission, you told me the briefcase was booby-trapped, and if I got in a tight spot, I should blow myself up. Well, it was only a dream, and now that the nightmare is over, let's forget it. <laughs> Imagine that, a booby-trapped attaché case. Did you ever hear anything so silly? <laughs> what a dream! <laughs>